right, this is my fourth and final chapter of, on my tutorial on how to reach the different bosses in Scarlet Monastery. This time we're going to the cathedral, which is here, uh, straight ahead on the left side. We'll just open this up. Uh, once again, I have, I'm multiboxing with my warrior as a tank, and I have my priest. just in case, and three mages as DPS classes. Since we're level 60 we can go straight past these guards, I hope. Nope. Not really. Okay, there's a big courtyard here, managed to aggro this patrol here, but that's okay. Should be able to sneak past most of the mobs here. You see the cathedral straight ahead. We'll be right there. see the boss here in, in the distance, Scarlet Commander Mograine. The thing is, before you engage him, you have to kill every ad here, or every mob, because if you start f if you start fighting him, then everyone will, heal, will, will aggro, and then you'll most definitely wipe. So I'm going to pause here, and I'll get back once the entire cathedral is empty. All right? See you soon. OK. I've managed to clear the entire cathedral, as you can see, so we can go right ahead and engage the boss. However, there is an optional mini-boss down here to the right that we can quickly take care of. If you go in here and press the torch here, you'll see that a secret path opens up. Look here, High Inquisitor Fairbanks. Uh, so let's go right ahead and take care of him. One more should do the trick. There we go. Yeah, not that great loot, which is why he's mostly skippable. Although, I mean, once you're here, you might as well take him on. But, let's see. So, there are actually two bosses here. Um, once you kill uh, Mograine here, uh, another boss will come out of the door and resurrect him, and then you have to fight both of them. So, let's take him down quickly. Uh, I think... Yeah. Since he's a paladin, he can use. Um, I don't remember the spell, but he's invulnerable for a few seconds. Now he's back. So, now he's dead. And here comes High Inquisitor White Mane. Soon he'll she'll put a sleep on us and resurrect Mograine. Yeah. And since she's a caster, I think she's a priest, we 
should take care of her first, because she's the weakest. And one more should do the trick. There we go. And now I kill my grain again. He'll probably put up his paladin shield once more. bad stats for a level 39 character and Hand of Righteousness, which, yeah, I guess good for a priest. Now, she does drop a, a quite nice neck, quite nice neck piece, which, uh, yeah, here it is, the Triune Amulet, see. Gives you seven stamina, intellect, and spirit, which is quite nice for any caster. And since necks and rings are hard to come by, um, if you don't find anything better, this will last you quite a long time until you can do maybe um, Princess Theradras in Maradron. That will give you um, this one, the Gem Shard Heart, which is slightly better, but. I mean, it's not bad, so so there we go. These are the four wings in uh, Scarlet Monastery. It's a pretty fun dungeon. I have very fond memories when uh, I played World of Warcraft. So uh, good luck, and see you in the next episode.